Hey kids, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect. We are on part 18, and in the previous episode we found out um, that Caden might possibly still have feelings for, for Commander Shepard. Uh, he was getting super, super flirty with me, and I'm super okay with that. Also, I did not know that we could also explore the rest of the Citadel, and we ended up in the Presidium, and I wandered around. Came down here, found Edie, and she asked me some really awkward questions about dating Joker, who is sitting over here. So let's go see what he has to say. I turned her down and told her hey, Commander, not to pursue it, it because she's a robot Big and he's a human. News. So we'll the see what he has to say. Movie is breaking opening week records. There's also a big expose on Quasar tournaments, tips on how to make your apartment look bigger, and oh yeah, a big ass Reaper invasion. These people have no idea. Sometimes I think this whole citadel is a mistake. Yeah, no shit. What do you mean? Well, it's out here in the middle of nowhere. Defensible, safe. Remember how everyone ignored the Geth threat until Saren's attack? Well, let's hope they listen this time. I don't know if we'll be able to save their asses again. <laughs> Meanwhile, Whatever we they will. ignore the unshackled AI walking around the Presidium. She run into any trouble? No, no, she's my mobility assistance mech. Thanks to Vrolic Syndrome, I'm legally entitled to bring her everywhere. Finally getting some use out of those disability benefits. I'm sure she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Ah, she's earned a little shore leave. He's falling in love with her. She's a robot. Don't do it. See, okay, I don't I don't fucking understand my reputation points there if it's if it's renegade if it's paragon somebody please tell me in the comment section what exactly is going on there to the left i know i understand that it's red and it's probably renegade but the symbol looks like a paragon symbol symbol and i'm not really sure how to tell how many paragon points i have or how many renegade points i have so somebody please fill me in because i feel really dumb i don't know what's going on there Let's take a look here. I think this is the same shop that we were just looking at. Oh, no. Some SMG stuff. Collector armor? God, they're selling it at the stores on the Citadel now? Jesus. Just when you thought you had something that nobody else had. I'm afraid I can't help you. But your manager said you could oh, give me see. a refund if I made an appointment. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. I, I don't even think we carry that version anymore. Listen, I don't need a new model, or store credits, or anything. I just want my money back. There's nothing I can do without a sales record of some kind. I can go get the warranty book from my car. I'm afraid I can't help you. <sighs> but your manager said you could give me a refund if I made I'm trying to see both sides here. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. Okay, I'm gonna go with the sales clerk. Are you keeping this guy at work while there's a war on? Uh, well, it's his job, right? Actually, I'm supposed to be on break, contacting the family I haven't heard from in days. Uh, yeah, I guess maybe... Well, I'm just trying to figure out... Bad time. Maybe? That didn't cross your mind the other ten times you visited this week? Damn. Uh, yeah, sorry. I should have gone with a customer. Yeah. It's kind of. I've never seen anyone so obsessed with getting a refund for a toaster oven. It's kind of difficult to judge uh, who's who's really being the bad guy and who's the good guy there. Cause see, I thought, I thought that the guy was good and the clerk was bad, but it turns out the clerk was bad and the guy was good. I don't. I, fuck. Yeah. See, that's why I'm confused about the reputation thing. I don't need pistol or SMG crap. What's near? Uh, ooh, assault rifle. Precision scope. Increases damage. Well, I'll take both. Because you really just can't have enough good shit for your assault rifle. Okay. There's absolutely nothing down here. There's just, uh... Looking out over the citadel. So let's go back upstairs. Um, I thought I saw 
that there was another place that we could have visited. Oh, CSEC, right. Okay. There was another place that we could have visited in the fast travel. So the water temperature can remain steady. The colony's location is hardly ideal for our species. The clutch will be imperiled if we do not act soon. Of course, I will do everything I can okay. do. Okay. We are ten. See, this game is still very new. I mean, we've barely sort of scratched the surface of um, of this game, even though we're already in part eighteen. There's so many new things to look at. Should I go up here? I don't think I went up here before. No, oh, nothing there. Come on, lag. I don't think there's anything this way. If there was nothing the other way, I don't think there'll be anything this way. Uh, no. Well, that was a giant waste of time. <laughs> Let's head back through the wall-sized advertisements. Unnecessary. Unnecessary. It kind of reminds me of, um, you know how when you go to, I don't know if everybody has this, but when I go to Walmart now, and which is not very often, um, they have little TVs in the aisleways that sort of show advertisements while you're shopping. Shit like that is terrifying. I don't, I think technology is moving too quickly. The fact that we have TVs in the aisles of the sock aisle at Walmart. You can't go shopping for socks for a half an hour without watching TV or seeing an advertisement. Come on, people. The one he's never even fired. I love our friends, but we are not combat material. I just, I can't sit around watching what's happening to Earth anymore. Gung ho so civilian. You want us to enlist as soldiers? Isn't there anything else we can do? The military needs everyone. Support they can the gung ho civilian. The alliance can use your help. There's plenty of non-combat roles. No, um, thanks. Who was that? The first human specter. Wow, Commander Shepard. That's right, bitch. She thinks we could do some good. Okay, I'll look at that recruitment brochure. Maybe they can use someone to stack crates or cook or something. I think I keep making Paragon decisions. I don't know. I can't tell. See, I'm thinking my mind, my my frame of mind there was, uh, get them to join the army so they could die, right? So because they, they are not because they're civilians, what can they do? But then Commander Shepard was like, oh, there's plenty of non-combat roles. And in my brain, I was like, ah, oh, fuck. I just did the Paragon option. Oh, and a, was that an aquarium? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, wait, shit, I'm not buying that. Ooh. Ooh, what's this? Welcome to Kanala Exports. I'm sort of just exploring at this point um i don't i clearly don't have a destination okay here we go purgatory bar i think aria we had an email from aria saying that she wanted us to meet her there so i maybe we could go ahead and do that aria of course was from mass effect 2 she was the sort of unspoken leader of omega Oh, I hear that music. <laughs> oh man. Is that her iPad? <laughs> That's, I mean, seriously, this is probably what the future is going to be like. And it's scary. There's so many things that are similar that you can sort of see are very 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 old models even though they're from the from now they'll be like really old models of this crap here in the future <laughs> so like the ipad is revolutionary it doesn't seem like there's anybody i can interact with so let's just go ahead and keep going forward hey How many people have actually fallen through the floor? I mean, this is a bar. I mean, you can't just have floors that don't have sides to them. 
People get drunk in these places. How how can you not fall over the side? I mean, I guess technically I can't f walk off the side, so... <laughs> how are they if I can't? I'm Commander Shepard. I do everything. At least there's more people here this time. Who's this? Ew, it's James. Ugh. I'm reluctantly talking hey, to him. Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. You think I don't like getting <gasps> Ew, please don't flirt. Oh, no, come on. Please don't flirt. I didn't mean anything by it, Commander. Uh-huh. What did you mean, then? See those Marines over there? None of them officers. Just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah? They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. Makes sense. I'm Commander Shepard. Maybe I should expect it. There aren't a hell of a lot of people who've done what I have. And now they get to meet hell you in the flesh. That's a, that's a word? You should buy them around. It'll impress them. I like the way you think, God. Lieutenant. Stop flirting with him! Compadres! Hey! The commander would like you to have a drink. On her. So here's to us. What the hell Who is he like half Krogan? Why does he keep Oh oh no I'm Damn few and they're all dead. <sighs> Sorry, Chef. Jesus you know. Christ. Thanks for the warning. Thanks for the drink. Fucking Fucking Renegai Renegide. Oh my god, I can't even Oh I I took two seconds to look over at my screen to check the time and see how far I was going along on the video and I missed my renegade option. I actually saw it on my preview window before I saw it on my TV. I missed the renegade quick time event again. When we get back to Earth, I'm by. God damn it. Why do I... I gotta stop looking away during cutscenes. That's the second time this LP, and it's only episode 18. I can't believe that just happened to me again. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad at video games, apparently. There's nothing else to do here. That was the only thing to do, and I fucked it up. Well, that's interesting. They're actually letting human girls dance there instead of the sari. God, I bet they get dizzy doing that. I love how that's the thing I think about. That, number one, is that I'm, I'm su surprised they're letting human girls do dance up there, and because so you admit you and your thugs they probably get dizzy. Illegally. Yes, and it only took C-Sec three weeks to figure it out. I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. Arya, to what do I owe the pleasure? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. I see. And now you've been processed. Is there anything else? Nothing. Thank you. <laughs> Anytime. I think we're done here. Enjoy the show, Shepard? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my ship list. You will pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. If it were me, I'd want revenge. Glad to see we think alike. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. True that. No matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless oh, hell yeah. force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with 
all three groups. Whatever it I takes, just need baby. You to close the deals. If they'll fight Reapers, I'll take them. Now that's a bottom line I can respect. Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. <laughs> you obviously Look at her hand, like, well. glitched through her Bailey dress. Respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk to me. Okay. Well, I think it's going to about do it for this episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And in the next episode, we are going to uh, probably dig around on the Citadel a little bit more. Maybe go back to the Normandy and um, try some side quests. Or do whatever Li Liara, Aria wanted us to do. Um, who knows? It's, I'm up for anything. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. And thanks for watching.